Discovering directories and files on web servers is a time-consuming task that needs to be done on every host and on every test by bug bounty hunters and penetration testers. To make this job faster and easier, we can use Ferox Buster. Ferox Buster is a versatile and powerful tool designed for web content discovery and enumeration. Created by Epi052, Ferox Buster is an open source tool that is available on GitHub. Using multi-threading, it's able to scan for directories extremely fast. Unlike other tools such as GoBuster, Ferox Buster supports recursive scanning. This means that once it has found a directory, Ferox Buster will try to scan the directory for other directories. Before we can use Ferox Buster, first things first, installation. Imagine we're tasked by our manager with assessing a website for potential vulnerabilities. When we get to the portion of the test where we start looking for files or folders, we start up Ferox Buster and set the flags to scan our target in scope. Using the W flag followed by a file, we can quickly set a custom word list that we use during pen testing. In the scoping document, we have seen that the website uses PHP. We want to search for the file types that often appear together with PHP. These are HTML and text. We can do this with the X flag followed by comma separated list of extensions. To ensure that the scan goes at a decent speed while not overloading the web server, we have asked during scoping how many requests per second we are allowed to send. Using the limits that the client has set, we've calculated out we can do about 50 threads. To set our threads to 50, we can use the T flag followed by the number 50. Finally, we add the URL to our command and we can start Ferox Buster. While Ferox Buster is running, we receive a call from our manager. Next to asking you to press the like button if you like this kind of content, he informs us there's a URL missing from the scope document and we need to add the URL. In most other applications, we would have to interrupt the scan or we would have to start another scan. Ferox Buster has a function that allows us to pull up a menu and change settings and targets of the scan that is currently running. To pull up this menu, we can press the enter button. From this menu, we can perform several functions. We can add and remove the URLs that we want to scan. And we can also add filters based on status codes, lines, response size, words, regex and similarity. These filters we can use to dynamically adjust Ferox Buster filter responses from the domains we're scanning. The final item in this menu that must be discussed is the cancel function. While its explanation is straightforward, the special thing that we have to be aware of that only scans that were added through this menu can be removed. We've left our manager waiting now for long enough, time to add the URL that was added to the scope. When we've added the URL, the scan continues where we paused it. While the scan is running, we can see that Ferox Buster is scanning recursively. This is usually the preferred method, but sometimes this is not needed. If we don't need it, we can add the dash "-r flag to disable it. While Ferox Buster does its magic, it uncovers a goldmine of directories and files, giving us valuable insights into the website structure and potential security loopholes. Armed with this information, we're better equipped to assess and fortify our web defenses. As you can see, Ferox Buster is your ultimate companion for web content discovery and enumeration. With speed, flexibility and reliability, it's a must-have tool in any cybersecurity arsenal. If you know any other tool, topic or have a content suggestion, leave a comment. If you like this video, please press the like button and the subscribe button. It would really help us with the YouTube algorithm. Thank you for watching and hack ethically.